spring is the, really the most critical feeding period for bears because that's when um, seals, seal pups are born on the sea ice. And that makes it very different from grizzly bears, for example, who do most of their feeding in the summer and fall. So polar bears do about two thirds of their feeding in the spring and they do um, a little bit over the summer if they can, if they can get it, but it's, it's, um, catching seals is very difficult in the summer because the ice, even if there's ice there, it's often very broken up and patchy and it gives the seals lots of opportunities to escape. So the bears do a bit more feeding when the ice first comes back in the fall, when it starts to um, reform, that actually attracts the seals to the edge of the ice and that, that puts them, them in a position to be preyed on by the bears. And so they do a bit more feeding then. But really over the winter, although they try to feed, um, again, they're not often that successful. It's very, it's very hard for them to be successful um, hunting over the winter with the consequence that by the end of winter in about March, most bears are at the leanest they would be for the entire year. And then they put on an incredible amount of weight over the spring and then if, if they're in areas where they come off the ice onto land during the summer, then they tend to be at their fattest weight in the early summer when they come on shore. So that's, you know, it's different from what you see in other bears where they're fattest in the fall. Polar bears have between one and three cubs um, and it really depends. In, back in the 1980s, um, in the area uh, near Churchill in western Hudson Bay, um, a good proportion of the females in that area, for reasons that we don't really understand except that they were very well fed at that time, that those bears actually had a high number of triplets, triplet litters. Um, and, but triplets otherwise were rare in the rest of the Arctic. But other than that, you know, either a single, a single cub or, or twins um, is the more common pattern that you see for polar bears. And the mortality for those young cubs is pretty high. So from a litter, a litter of two, um, a bear can probably expect to lose at least one of them. Polar bear cubs can, they can die from accidents um, and or from malnutrition because if the mother is not getting enough to eat, she might not be able to nurse them um, adequately, but they can also be killed by other bears and uh, particularly f um, adult males um, will um, kill and eat cubs if they can get them. And uh, so it's, it's an act of cannibalism, it's called, and it's actually fairly common in the bear world. It's not unique to polar bears or to bears for that matter. Um, but it's one of the reasons why mothers with cubs actually tend to stay away from adult bears. And so they, when they go out to feed on the ice, they stay away from areas where adult bears are, are hanging out. Where the males are. Where the males are, yeah.